Chicago is a hell of a town and this year's auto show is no different. If you are heading to the Windy City to see the latest rides from your favorite brands, be sure to check out these. Here's a list of our 5 favorite must-sees from the 2017 Chicago Auto Show. 1957 Chevrolet Model 150 The heat is on. There's a bunch of police cars and trucks scattered throughout the show. From a 1966 Ford Fairlane Illinois State Police car to a 2017 Chevrolet Police Tahoe, but the best in show is a black and white 1957 Chevrolet Police Department car tucked deep in the South Hall of McCormick Place. Owner Patrick Toad has been tinkering with it for the past 25 years. The former Chicago cop car packs a six-cylinder engine under the hood that delivers 140 horsepower. No match for today's baddies, but it was probably enough to catch them back in the day. There's even an original ticket book on a dash and a nightstick and flashlight on the front seat. 1967 Camaro RS Jeff Jersk of the Illinois Camaro Club owns this awesome 1967 Chevrolet Camaro RS. The black beauty can be found in the furthest corner of the South Hall near the Tailgate Cafe. The club is dedicated to the all makes, models, and generations of the Chevy Camaro. The first generation 1967 RS model shares space with several generations of classic Camaros and is worth a beak. The club is open to all Camaros, no matter what condition it is in. www.illinoiscamaraclub.com 1971 Ford Mustang Mach 1 Sports Roof The recent refresh on the 2018 Ford Mustang looks much better in person, but best-looking Mustang in the show for us is a classic 1971 Mustang Mach 1 Sports Roof in rather blue paint with fat gray stripes and a tough-looking 351 Ram Air Hood that looks divine. Heck, there's even enough room in the back seat to fit to adults. Well, almost. Lego Batmobile Build Station Kids and Bat fans can build their own Lego Batmobile and check out a giant version of the Caped Crusader's wheel as that's pegged to the recent release of the Lego Batman movie now playing in theaters. The speed wagon is made out of thousands of Lego bits and is an impressive display that is sure to excite and keep the little brats busy. Well, at least for a few minutes while they build their own cars to keep. Thanks to stringent class regulations on aerodynamics, performance, power, and fuel consumption, modern race cars just aren't as gorgeous as they used to be, especially in the 1970s and 1980s. At the highest level of endurance racing, the grid is packed with prototypes that are as homogeneous as they are fast. Mazda broke away from the pack with the reveal of its new gorgeous RT24P Daytona prototype. Compared to the current batch of Daytona prototypes, the Mazda is a light, fluid form, adhering to the Japanese automaker's popular Kodo design language. Whereas most Daytona prototypes wear a sloping flat face, the RT24P has a sculpted font clip, leading into a curvaceous body design. This is the first Daytona prototype international from a major automaker. The new DPI class was created as an alternative to the LMP2 class, primarily through a unique aero kit and powertrain differences. Underneath the handsome design is a standardized LMP2 Riley MK30 chassis, powered by a mid-mounted 2.0-liter i4 pushing out a mighty 600 horsepower. The car is fully compliant with regulations, and will compete primarily in the IMSA Weather Tech Sports Car Championship. Look for the gorgeous RT24P to make its competition debut at Daytona in January of next year. Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon Mountain climb deep in the bowels of the South Hall, past the Toyota, Jeep, 
and Dodge Test Tracks is the Mercedes-Benz G Wigan Mountain Climb Test Area that allows adventurous drivers the chance to drive a G550 on a vertical course that almost rivals the roller coaster in Coney Island. It's not as long as the other indoor road courses, but it's definitely a wild ride that is not for the squeamish. Follow the screams to find it. Hashen Mountain